Greetings my cosmic brothers and sisters and welcome to Let's Look at Capsule. Capsule is a game by Adam Atomic Saltzman who is probably most famous for making Cannibalt. I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Which is, um, I think most of his games are, you can play them on PC as well in a browser and then their primary destination where money is made is like iPhones and, and stuff you hold in your hands. As opposed to stuff you put on your desk and on underneath your desk and so on and so forth. Gravity Hook is another game he made. Uh, this was made a year ago or so, or more or less a year ago. Um, at least I found about it a year ago, but <clears throat> excuse me, the way it was back then, you had to subscribe to a magazine and then get this as a gift in to as a gratitude to subscription. And I think the magazine was Venus Patrols? Venus Petrol from Venus? Something like that. And then I went like, uh, no, and I didn't subscribe. But now it came out um, in Humble Store, so it's not in a part of a Humble Bundle, but like you can buy it for $8 and Humble Store sells it kind of thing. And there should be a link in the description. But before we get to the, the buying and money part, let's talk about what this is actually. And this is, uh, the screen you're looking at is, I'm about to erase my the memory, which is the saved game er er erasing actually happening. But... Um, what the game is, it's a survival horror, as it is self-described, and I think it's quite accurate, but in a, in a more sort of kind of sci-fi sense, and the survival horror where you do not actually kill things, but rather try to get away from them kind of in the style of... Um, what's that? Wait, what's that game where everyone plays and they put heart monitors on it and, and stuff? It's like super famous... Um, Amnesia, there you go, Amne it's kind of like Amnesia, uh, Amnesia Dark Descent, I think that's the full name, uh, but the, it's also nothing like Amnesia, so let's erase our memory so we can start the game from the very beginning, um, so all the memory uh, bids, capsule bids, memory erased, bids, did it say bids, okay bids I guess, oh there's the, oh I was worried that I would be, not be able to show you the um, the menu screen, but I, I can actually because uh, we're right there now, so let's start this, there's um, some way to set controls as well, I think. Oh, there we are. So it's, it, it starts with teaching you um, the controls. So you go up and you go down, and that's your thrust, and it's okay. So you're kind of doing a, a, a systems check or whatever. So uh, this is your steering, and space is your pulse. So you that's that's all you got. You got five buttons that you use, five keys that you use to play the game. Uh, you go different directions on the screen. You, the screen you see is kind of the way it's going to look, and you use the pulse. Uh, to identify the objects around you. Uh, where exactly the game is taking place is kind of unclear. That's the pulse you just saw there. Um, and we need to, see, we need to, this is kind of a tutorial, we need to gather these things up. So Iron Vent gives our Iron Engine some power, which is spent on moving around and also producing, on the producing of pulse. See, there we go. You see, as Air Pockets. Air Pockets is obviously where, you know, the oxygen is. So there's two things Two resources sort of in the game, uh, air and iron um, fuel, I guess, or fuel in general, but it's, it's for iron engine, so there you go. Um, and you spend, oxygen is spent anyway, whatever you do, you spend oxygen. If you don't move and don't pulse, you don't spend uh, your power, uh, but obviously you need to move uh, to get to the destination points. And the, the purpose of the game is to get from one point to another. Now, we need to find... Our bearing is uh, 26 degrees, so we need to go to around, so this would be about 45, 26, somewhere like that. And put the, uh, our capsule in gear and go that direction. This is a very short distance. And as you come across the objects, you scan them uh, so you know what they are. You don't have to scan them, you can just chance it, but you'll die very, very quickly. So air pockets, like as we said before, are good. Um, iron vents, again, good. I think the first level is just completely friendly. Um, we don't even need that much iron vents. And if you go, this, the sound is done very well. So you, you constantly hear the breathing sound. If you can, I'm going to shut up now and, and let you hear it. I think that should have been heard. And um, everything else is also like when you go slow, it's, you don't really hear the engine. But if you go fast, it's like it's straining and it's really cool. And you, you do need to go fast sometimes. What is that thing over there? What is that? Iron vent. We got power. Oh, it's unscannable. Maybe that's where we need to go, actually. Oh yeah, that's that's our destination, so we just go there. Um, 
and we're in and there we go we're docking and we are refueling and i guess reoxygenating. uh what happens between missions is they give you a bit of a story and um story isn't like that particularly amazing it's it's sort of like oh this we got these readings these strange readings and people lost and oh we're trying to research this data but it's hard to analyze. Can you send us something? Oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, there's no one there. And then you keep going from like one station to another. Wherever this is taking place, I mean, it could be plausibly both underwater and in space. It, it sounds like it's more in space than underwater because, um, uh, because of the terminology, but because of how your ship handles, it seems like it actually could be... Um, it actually could be in, uh, underwater, but I, I'm, I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter that much. Right, so messages. Um, is there something, some repairs are being done? It seems like we are just coming back from a, like a routine mission and then we realize that something has gone amiss and a uh, major incident has happened. And we need to go to that place, I think. So every time you get a new, so bad post, we got, got a bad post and bad post, is that post? Bad post, I guess. Um, distance increases every time, the one you see on the screen, and obviously always they tell you to proceed with caution. And game gets more and more difficult. Oh, there is a probe, so we, we, we kind of researched the probe, and now we see more things here. Like, for example, there is a mine, and if you, if you touch that, if you go past it, you are going to suffer consequences. Um, losing power, oxygen, and then eventually dying. So, 100 and... 17-ish, I guess this is the way we need to be going. Uh, we do have a lot of oxygen and power, so we can... Uh, if, nitrox, I think, or nitrox, sir, uh, we shouldn't touch that. That is also bad for your health. Um, and now the game kind of turns into a proper game. It's not a tutorial anymore. So most of the stuff is not going to be useful to you. Um, and hence you need to scan it um, so that you know... Oh, there we go, air pocket, oh, that's useful. Air pocket is quite a little boost to the uh, to your oxygen. Um, if you get air tank, that's the that's the best thing. Okay, there's more air pockets here and the more stuff. And now it seems like it's too easy, like you're just traveling. But let's just get quickly through this, and I'll show you when it gets more difficult. Because there are actually enemies in here who will who will try to get you, and some of them are easy, some of them are pretty hard. The hardest part is just finding enough resources, in my opinion, anyway. To get to to where you're going here in the first mission or after, I mean the second maybe if you consider tutorial a mission uh, it's really easy uh, you, you basically don't really have to get anything you can just go wait it's, uh, the bearings have changed whoa, whoa, whoa careful here <clears throat> let's go to 335 ish there we go okay cool I think we got lost there for a second uh, oh there's a lot of stuff here let's scan it uh, yeah, that's fine. There's nothing we need from this. Nothing we need to actually really just get to the point of where we go. Yeah, there we go. And that's the, that's the outpost that we go. Oh, it's not butt post. It's outpost. So it just spelled weird. So we got to outpost. Again, we get uh, refueled. We got get our oxygen back. And we find out where we go next. Uh, I'm going to skip through the messages. Because like I said, it's just communication between people. Like, oh, we were researching that. We were researching this. Um, it kind of adds the story, it kind of adds the dread to it, but it's it's pretty dreadful <laughs> as it is. So you don't really, I mean, if you want to... Oh, so there we go, we got move, moving stuff now. That's convoy. Convoy is neutral as far as I can understand. Antenna, I'm not sure what they actually do. Crates can give you good stuff, bad stuff, or nothing. So it's kind of a gamble. Um, Mines, like we said, are bad for you. So 84, we need to go to 84, actually. We now need to go there. Um, now, I think our power is not going to be enough anymore um, to to get there safely. Or maybe it is. I'll just go the way we're going. We don't have that much oxygen. There's not really that many objects here either. 89, we're going? Yeah, we're going okay. Oh, there we go. Ah, fuck. Ah, there was a seeker. All right, wait, what's that? There was a seeker um, mine. They go for you, like directly go for you. All right, that's a lot of oxygen for us. Um, this is pretty much a done deal now. We can just go straight to base. Where are we going? 
Um, there's also other kinds of secret mine is, is the like the, the least of your problems. Um, there's I forgot the name. There's a couple of things that like really really chase you really fast, and if you don't just like step on it and get the hell out of there, you're gonna suffer serious serious consequences. All right, it's all fine. Actually, yeah, just let's just go there. We're almost there. There we go. So that was so that we don't um, stay there too long. Because there's no such thing as progression in terms of like leveling up. You're in the same fragile capsule. You're you're on the brim of like darkness and death all the time. So it doesn't change. All anything that changes is like your skill. Maybe you, you realize what what is what because the game doesn't tell you. There is no hand holding at all, which is very very nice. There is, you, you don't know what it is, like it says, for example, there's nitrox or whatever, so what is it? Until you hit it and you realize that it's, it's, it's reducing your oxygen or your power, you don't think, you don't know that it's, it's bad for you. Pylons, for example, are not as bad, but if you hit it, you slow down, so that could be bad for you in, in terms of like you lose out on time and so on and so forth. So some people want to help, and uh, we're going to go to that station now. And hopefully I'll be able to show you, show you uh, some more. Is this a, oh, oh, what is that? Oh, Conway. Okay, that's fine. Um, be able to show you more. Let's go this way directly to where we need to be. 308. It should be like 308-ish. And the further uh, the object is from you when you scan it, the longer it takes for you to get the information on what it is, which is quite nice and kind of sort of realistic. Whoa! Uh, secret missile there. Or secret mine, sorry. Rather, okay, it's nothing useful. It's kind of random the way it gives you objects, but at the same time, it doesn't like. I've never seen it, it just shower you with um, air tank. Oh, we should get that probably. It it never really showers you with shit, so it's uh, it doesn't make it too easy on you, but it doesn't make it too hard on you either. But if you like, if you get a lot of stuff by accident, like you, you stumble into a lot of loot, then you uh, will probably be attacked pretty soon. Because I think the game is trying to balance itself, which kind of makes sense that you don't you don't get it. Like it, it too, take your time is, isn't too easy with this. Oh shit! This is one of the things I was talking about. This is really bad. That thing really fucks you up, and it's really fast until it forgets about you. Oh god, that was close. Right, this is very dangerous now. Blipping here because. Many of them hear your um, your pulses and will attack you, but let's take our chances. And it's all bullshit as well. It's nothing useful for us. 290, we're going more or less... Oh, shit. That, is that the same thing or is that a drone? I think that was a drone. Drones are a bit slower. Beacons are... At, you, oh, fuck! Oh, that was close. Um, beacons are a bit useless as well, as far as I can tell. All right, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We're good, we're good. Who? that was too much attacks there. All right, scan this, let's go easy here. Easy, easy, fuel cell, okay, that's useful. We're almost there anyway, oh, wait, wait, we're not almost there, we're going in a slightly different direction. Let's go over here, <clears throat> scan these objects, we got little oxygen left, but it should be, oh, there we are. All right, cool, now we are definitely good. Uh, 100 and, where are we going? Is that where we're going? Oh, there we are, Alpha Base. Cool. So we made it. And and that, those are the enemies that I was talking about. And uh, it's, it's pretty cool, I think. The whole it's, it's super claustrophobic, and like you have no idea what is out there. You you have like basically you're blind, but you you rely on your sonar, almost. So it's quite nice. Um, so which one are we going next to? Is this to where I just I haven't finished the game. I did about five missions, I think. And then the one, and I want to show you how I die. So I want to get to point. Science lab, I think, is reachable, and after that, it gets quite hard. So probably we're gonna try and whoa, iron vortex is really bad. Don't ever approach iron vortex. It, it sucks the power out of you. So anything you see that is like very big, you should stay away from it unless you see, uh, before you scan it. So 266 ish. What the hell was that mine? Oh jeez, that was close. I just like went past it. It's probably a uh, convoy. Yeah, it is. Uh, we're going uh, 270. Okay, so this is easy. Just gonna go straight until I see something useful and then... I don't want to risk it with crates. I got enough power right now. Okay, slow down. 
beacon. Fuck off. No, that's not what I need. Go slow. Easy does it. But anyway, I want to before before we finish this video. There's not obvious. Obviously, there's not that many um, different features in the game that I could show you. We, we, controls are simple. Interface is simple. It's the, the depth comes basically from your imagination and how it. Um, um, how, what's what's the word? What do you do with imagination? With imagination, you stimulate it. There we go. So how the game stimulates your imagination. I think that's where. Okay, I invent. We gotta get some fuel here. Um, and we probably gotta get going. Oh, actually, we're running out of oxygen here. Maybe I will die. Oh, there we go. Air pocket. Uh, I was gonna say I'm gonna die probably sooner than I thought. Uh, going more or less in the correct direction. Uh, nothing of interest. Let's see. Air pocket. Yes. Hot pocket. All right. So I was just saying. Uh, the, the biggest pleasure in the game, probably, or the main, like, the thing about the game comes from um, how it stimulates your imagination of where you are, because that's what, mostly, that's what all the minimalistic art does. You you have to imagine the rest of it yourself, and in a way, that's, that if, if it's done correctly, that is often the scariest uh, thing, the, the monsters and the danger that you imagine, they're not realistic, like, um, a lot of the AAA developers want to... Uh, want us to believe that what we really need is um, photorealistic dangers, but sometimes all we need is um, our imagination to be stimulated in the right way, so that we imagine the dangers, and then we are uh, scared shitless. Uh, it goes without saying that. Oh fuck! That was close. <laughs> Woo. Oh okay. Right. Let's see. Here. Damn. Doctor, I that thing just runs away from me. I'm not sure if it's any of any use or if it's just like an organism that is there. But anyway, no, we got we got made this. Oh, oh, fuck! Not necessarily. Oh god. Oh, fuel cell. Thank God. Ooh, that was close. Right, where are we going? Oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, I remember what I was gonna say. I was gonna say shit. That the best way to play this obviously is with your headphones alone at home in the complete darkness and that, that's where you gotta get the most uh, pleasure out of this game and this is the place where I'm kind of sort of stuck in, or where I stopped I tried to do this mission a couple of times uh, off camera and this is the probably the most difficult one I've encountered so far and I'm most likely to die here and that's where I'm gonna talk about the dying in the game and how that works so let's uh, let's try and attempt that and we let's try and reach the combat oh and we're immediately attacked by things um, and I'm not even sure. Oh shit! I thought you forgot about us. And then there's another one. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. All right, cool, 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 cool. cool. Okay, it's fine. Right, slow down here. Scan things. Drone. All right, that's bad. Get rid of the drone. Should be fairly easy. Okay, drone lost interest. It's a mine. And you can see that we're doing pretty badly with power, and there's a lot of lot, a lot, huge distance to go still. Oh shit, there's a shurka. Oh, this is hard to get rid of. Oh, there, there we are. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. See, that's what I'm saying, it's, it's too difficult. At this point, ah, oh, shit, it's still following me. Alright, cool, stop, stop, stop. What is this around us? Iron vent. Very good. All right, cool. We're kind of low on oxygen. Oh, it noticed me again. Right, 19. Let's get, a, get away from here. Okay, what is this? Right, iron vent over there, air pocket over here. We need to get through the air pockets. There we are. Okay, very nice. Prolong their life for a couple of seconds. What is this thing? Mine, lichen, lichen, I have no idea what that is. Right, so that kind of does nothing to you, basically just there, it's an object. It's neutral to you and your mission and your goals. Well, we got a lot of stuff here. Um, there's another air pocket. 18, we're even going, kind of going in the right direction. Maybe I will not die after all. And I'll have to kill myself to show you the dying thing. There's another air pocket here. Wow, this is some nice loot that we got into. 
13, right? So kind of that way. Um, iron band. Excellent. Okay, cool. So, 13 degrees. There we go. It's gonna go not necessarily full speed, kind of like hum comfortly along. If we see something nice, we'll go through it. But if we don't, that's fine. How about here? No. Nothing that would interest my dying carcass stuck in a capsule. So, we're just gonna continue. This is crate, probably. Oh, shit. Something's coming our way. Alright. Easy, easy, easy. Beacon, okay. We're doing too well. This is probably gonna die just be Oh, 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 oh. Drone. Shit. What is that? Whoa! Seeker missile, or seeker mine. Alright, got away from them. Oh, fuck! That came too suddenly. I did not ex. Oh god, leave me alone. Leave me alone. See, we're running out of power. Alright, please. Iron vent, yes. So if we make it to the iron vent. Oh god, please. Oh, he's next to iron vortex. Ah, oh, still worth it, kind of. What are those things? Ethereum attacks us, actually. Oh, this is close. This is close. Alright, cool. Got that. Very low on power now. I think we can still make it, though. Five. Kind of this way. Pulse takes away... Ah, uh, let's... Let's risk it. Just go there. Well, there's a lot, so much things here. Iron vent next to iron vortex. Oh, fuck off. Oh, what's this then? Got away, got away, got away, yes! Oh, we actually made it, or we have to die. Whoo! It was, uh, it wasn't easy. Right, I don't wanna, I don't wanna spoil too much of the game and show you the rest of it, so... What I'm gonna do is, um... I'm going to read these things and then I'm going to uh, die on purpose so that I show you death, um, how death works. Okay, so this is the SOS we're going to follow up, but I'm not going to be playing this uh, mission. I'm just going to crash the craft into things so that I can show you how you die. There's nothing really to crash it into. So I, basically, there's two ways to die, right? So uh, you run out of oxygen before you run out of power or you run out of power and then you die because you cannot move. Uh, so pretty much now that makes it like one way to die and one the only way to die is you run out of oxygen um, So let's let's just crash into things that mine. There we go. So mine kills your power mostly. We can just also spend the most of it um, Crash into things again. Oh, that was air pocket. Sorry. <laughs> what is this? Iron vortex takes all our power away or most of it anyway. That's good Crash there we go. Okay, so we're out of power and you're dead. So, and there is no way you can like you can reload the 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 um, the mission, or you can just say, okay, I quit, I'm done. Can I just start again? There is no way to do that, and I think that's a very nice um, design decision that's put in the game that you that enhances the feeling of like not being in control of your life, kind of way you, you are in this game. That all you can do is move, evade, and hope to survive. Same here. If you press your um, See, it says primed, I think, and it acts like it's like like engine is trying to turn, but it isn't really turning, so you can't don't have pulses, nothing. You're just floating in space and waiting for oxygen to run out. And when, for example, you are actually have power, and if it always feels like the oxygen is running out too fast, it's unreal. How am I like losing all this oxygen? But when you're actually out of power and you're sitting there, or you're sitting duck. Um, it feels like the oxygen is just like torturing you. It's running out too slowly, so it, you have to wait and see yourself and hear yourself asphyxiate and only then you'll be able to reload and have another attempt at, uh, uh, <clears throat> at winning the winning or completing this mission and I think there we are and then we die with uh, horrible sound effects horrible in a good way of course and the screen goes kind of dark and it starts again 
So that's it, guys. I'm not going to show you any more of the gameplay so that I don't spoil um, anything else that I haven't spoiled yet. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. Again, this is game by Adam Atomic Saltzman. Uh, it's called Capsule. And if you follow the link in the description, it can become yours for eight uh, American dollars of freedom. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.